Hi there, so in this video we're going to look at the Rotate tool and this is a very brief introduction into it. So you can see in our screen here we have a cube object and if I just select that I can rotate that around. Now if I press the R key, which is the shortcut for rotate, it now enables me to do a freehand rotation. Now the problem with this is, as you can see, it is rotating in all kinds of different directions. Um, and the reason for that is it is trying to rotate um, in three dimensions. So we've got just three different axes, all at the same time. So I'm just going to press Escape to release that. So um, one of the good things that we can do here is that if we want to rotate an object on one particular axis, we can actually press R for Rotate, and then just pre before we do anything, just press the letter of the axis you want to rotate on. So if I'm just going to spin this around on the y, uh, sorry, on the z axis, just press Z now. You can see the blue line appear, and now when I rotate, it is locked to that axis. And you notice I can just spin side to side to side. And there's my rotation. When you're happy with it, just left click, and there it is. Similarly, if I now want to rotate it. On the x-axis, I would just press R for rotate, X for the x-axis, and now I can just spin it around, and there it goes. Okay. Um, I'm just going to undo those to go back to the start. Um, the other thing that's very useful with the rotate tool is that we can actually type in the number of degrees we want to rotate it. So here, if I want to rotate it 45 degrees on the z-axis, I would press R for rotate, Z for the z-axis, and then 45 and then just left click. And that is pretty much it. You can do that um, on any axis. For example, rotate Y, and then if I do um, 135 degrees, it's done. So anyway, that is the rotate tool.